Hey folks, uh, Nate here again, and I wanted to give you all a quick overview of our audio editing and sound design workshop called Sonic Storytelling and Making Your Stories Sing. The reason we talk about sonic storytelling is that with everything we do here at Narrative Podcast, it's all about creating a great story. And so that's how we approach audio editing and sound design. So what do we cover in our workshops? How did they go? What are they like? Well, first of all, you might be wondering, wait, am I signing up for two hours of just like people talking while I'm spacing out trying to pay attention on Zoom? And the answer, thankfully, is no. We have done a lot to try to make it an engaging mix of media types and formats. So we have some slides, we have some live exercises that you're going to do in real time during the workshop. We will play and look at and listen to some examples. We'll have some group discussion and commentary, and then also breakout rooms where you will discuss an exercise or a principle with one or two uh, other participants. So we really try to mix uh, like learning styles and give some, give some rhythm and contrast to the workshop. So what are some of the key topics that we cover in the audio editing and sound design workshop? Uh, well, first, uh, my background is advertising. I've studied design. I've worked with a lot of designers over the years, and I realized there are some really interesting parallels between visual design and sound design. So we will talk about that. I'll give you a handy acronym uh, to help you in your sound design. Uh, we also will cover some key exercises for working fast because just like any design or editing process, audio editing and sound design can take as much time as you allow it to. And you can tinker with things forever, as any of you know who have ever done anything in Photoshop. So we will go through some rapid fire exercises that will have you accomplishing a lot more than you thought you could in a short period of time. Then another important topic we talk about is avoiding cheesy sound design. When is it too on the nose or too obvious when you're giving a listener an elbow in the ribs? We talk about some principles for that. So you can have your sound design be evocative, but not over the top. Uh, and then another important topic is dealing with bad audio, whether you're talking about uh, ambient sounds or interviewing somebody on Zoom or when you had to just record a voice memo for something real quick, we talk about strategies for dealing with challenging audio. So that's a quick overview of our audio editing and sound design workshop. And as always, you can learn more on our website or check out other of our YouTube videos. Thanks.